My name's Jack and today we're going to be doing a rig rundown of my current pedal board. Because of 2020 and everything that's going on, uh, I haven't gigged electric uh, in a long time. I can't remember the last time, to be honest. Um, well over a year ago. So for that reason, my pedal board hasn't really been put together in a long time because I've been using it for uh, either demonstrations on this channel or just thinking I'll use that one for this thing or, or whatever, you know, it's not really been like, been put together. So I thought, why don't we do a video where I'll put my pedal board back together. Uh, I've changed some things as to what they were before the pandemic and kind of messed around with it. Um, and I've kind of got something I really like now, which I might keep together for a while and not dismantle. Um, so I thought we'd do a bit of a rig rundown and, and go through it all. So I've got my Fender Custom Shop Strat going through my Marshall Origin 50 head uh, with everything at, at 12 o'clock as normal, normal sentence for me. Going through a Marshall 2x12, a 1936 cab. Uh, so, to demonstrate first, I'm gonna show you everything with nothing on. So, this is the guitar straight into the amp. Pretty clean sound. The cool part about this amp is that it comes with this foot switch which has boost and effects loop on. Basically you can have stuff through the effects loop but turn the effects loop on and off. So right now I've got the Shryman Flint reverb and uh, tremolo and the flashback delay in the loop. So with a push of a button I can put both of those on at once. So this is just a dry signal. Put the effects loop on. And they both come on at once it's really really cool the flint i've already made a video on uh on this channel i'll put that uh in the description below if you want to check it out so we've kind of already talked about that so i'm going to kind of skim over that next to it is the tc electronic um flashback 2 delay pedal um and to be honest i'm not a huge delay guy i appreciate people who do that kind of thing and um i like listening to it but for me i'm i'm not too bothered about it so it's i've Basically, just use it for a bit of bit of slapback delay on the tape. And we'll turn it up a little bit here. Nothing major, that's quite, that's where I like it really. Uh, next we got the OnePlus Ego compressor. Again, I, I like using this pretty much uh, all at 12 o'clock. It just kind of, to me, it's the sound of John Mayer and it's the sound of really nice, clean, plinky guitar. I'll play it with the, with the effects and stuff as well. This is the guitar with the delay and reverb in the loop. And then with the compressor. You can do that thing where you can drive the amp with the, the volume on the compressor. So if I just hit a chord. Which is pretty cool. Next we got the Silver Up from TC Electronic, which um, I'll show you clean, but then I'll also put it on with a bit of dirt in a second. So it's just the amp and the reverb and delay. With the seven up. Which is pretty cool. Next up we got the pedal with no name, but I call it the Breaking Bad Overdrive pedal. Um 
I've also done a review of this pedal as well, so I'll put that uh, in the description below. Uh, it's basically just a clon type pedal, um, but it's awesome. It's a really, really cool pedal. So this is just what's in the loop with the Breaking Bad. Let's put the game, we'll put the gain up fairly high and you can see what I mean. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's do the drive with the Subano. got a boost on the amp which I suppose I could show you too um, so this is the clean tone with the effects in the loop and then with the boost That's pretty much my whole pedal board. Oh, and there's a, there's a tuner on the floor. The Boss tuner just lasts forever. I've, I think I've had mine for maybe five years now or something. But they last forever, they work great. Yeah, well, there's not much to say about that one. So what I think I'll do now, I'll just play a little bit and mess around with a few settings and stuff, and uh, that'll be the video done. So if you've enjoyed this, please give it a like and maybe subscribe if you fancy. Comment down below what's on your pedal board if you've recently built one or you've had ones on there for years. Let me know what you've got. It would be really, really cool to read. So thank you very much and uh, I'll play you out with some tunes. Mm -hmm.